Hey, Wally, <laughs> where are we? 2J. Today we got something cool for you. If you don't already recognize or you haven't seen the previous video, we're back at 2J Racing. 2J Racing is a performance shop in Cumming, Georgia. They're a little bit north of Atlanta. They do a lot of Nissan stuff, but they're also delving into the whole ST platform, which is really cool. They started off doing a cow induction intake on a Fiesta ST, which in the previous video you saw one get made for Wooly right here, his Borg Warner Fiesta ST. But they never did one for focus. Oh my god, do you make this for other cars? No, we don't make a Until right now. This is Joe, I don't know how to pronounce your Ippolito. last name. Ippolito. Yep. Okay, this is Joe Ippolito. He's the one that, that owns this whole thing and kind of heads this operation. So in the Fiesta video, you talked about why you did your Fiesta intake and the idea that spawned from that. That's but now right. with this, since this is more of a prototype and this is very developmental, you did this all in the past three weeks, I want to know kind of what went into it and where you started and, and how you go about turning that into what it is now. I mean, the first thing we look at is, is it something that's feasible for the customer to actually install themselves, right? We could put the filter anywhere, you know, because we've got the capabilities here to modify whatever we need to and get it to where we think it might be in the best location, but it's not gonna work for a customer, right? So how do we find something that works for them and still gives a really good performance gain over any other intake? It's on the market, really. And that's kind of what we um, uncovered when we did the Fiesta Cal intake is you really get those cold intake air temps because your filter's not stuck in the engine bay. Your filter's back there in the cowl, and it usually stays about the ambient temperature. You may see it go a degree or two below ambient, but realistically, for the most part, it stays ambient, which is nice. Um, and of course, it sounds really cool, too. So the biggest thing with the, the difference between the Focus versus the Fiesta is you have this like massive strut bar. Right, you guys know that, that's on the car. It holds the uh, top of the struts in place. It mounts like in the middle of the firewall. So there's, we had to create it in such a way that we would still use the factory strut bar, right? It would clear the hood, it'd go under the windshield, and would sit in the cow. And we probably spent about a day just taking measurements and just seeing what size filter we could use, what size piping we could use, what what do we need, where the motor rocks back and forth that it's not gonna rattle, it's not gonna hit the hood, you know, stuff like that. Because some people have, you know, they're making a lot of power on their focus. The engine's gonna rock. So we wanted to make sure that it's gonna be something that's not gonna cause them a problem. The other thing <laughs> that we didn't anticipate is, which I just forgot, the uh, intake air temp sensor um, is on the Focus. Different than on the Fiesta, which uses the mass airflow sensor for intake air temps. So we had the machine a special um, fitting so that the intake air temp sensor would fit into the intake. Uh, we also machined a special fitting to where the PCV, the factory PCV hose, actually will clip into our hose, and then we extend it over to the intake as well too. Um, and just so you guys know, this is this is a prototype. So all the pie cuts, everything that you see here, that's not going to be in the production version. It's going to be made where it's all manual bent, one continuous pipe, um, so there won't be any flow restriction issues. There won't be any potentiality for the weld to break or anything like that. This really was something where we could kind of go back and forth and keep changing the design to get it to fit like we wanted it to. Um, another thing that's different on the Focus is all the intakes will come with the sock that goes over the filter uh, that keeps it dry, right? Now, if you submerge it in water, obviously it's gonna bleed through the sock, but as far as water running over the top of it, 
water running around it, it's going to keep that filter dry. So every intake that we sell automatically will come with that sock to keep it dry. Uh, we're working with JMS that makes the MAF adapters for the Fiesta. To try to create an extension wire for the intake air temp sensor. Um, currently, they don't have one. Uh, maybe in the future they will. They're, they're kind of working with us on that. But on this one, we just extended the wires about 36 inches, and it's just two wires, so it's not incredibly difficult. Um, and the other thing that's a little bit different is you can't see it. If you've got these screens on the focus on each side, the intake actually comes up over the screen, right? So not only you, you trim the cowl, but you'll trim the screen, and we'll have a template that comes with each kit that actually you just outline the template, and it shows you where to cut, and it's, and it's super easy. It's, it's not that difficult. Uh, and unlike the Fiesta, this intake hard mounts to uh, the strut bar as well, too. We make our pie cuts out of straight pieces, whether they're 9 degrees, 12 degrees, 14 degrees, whatever we use. And then we sort of start building those, we put all those pieces together like a puzzle. We see how it fits, take them apart, put them back together, see how it fits, and get everything to where we know, or we get it to where the filter sits where we want it, the brackets where it is, there's enough clearance for the between the pipe and the engine, stuff like that. So um, that's what took us the longest, is to get the shape to where we were happy with it, where there wouldn't be any vibration or anything. Now the big thing is, and this is gonna be with this intake, you don't have a lot of gap between the pipe and the windshield. Your cowl does clip in to this, this ridge here, right? But then the cowl is cut out at this point. So we're thinking about providing some sort of rubber flashing in the kit that you could affix to the cowl, the plastic cowl, that'll kind of direct the water around the cowl and of course out the side. Um, unlike the Fiesta, the Fiesta, the filter just sits in the cowl, right? On the uh, Focus, the filters is up in the air. It's not sitting in the cowl, meaning it's not touching the bottom. So even if water ran down, and you can kind of see if you come on this side, you can see that it's the filter is actually suspending up, sort of high. So even if water, which it does, gets into the cowl, it's not going to, it's not going to be sitting on the filter itself. Our biggest concern now is really durability, like how, because your car's tuned. Mm -hmm. How does this intake with the bracket, because it's hard mounted, it's hard mounted to the strut bar. How does it hold up to the engine you constantly rocking back and forth, right? Mm -hmm. We put the hump hose on the bottom uh, where it attaches to the turbo so it gives it some flexibility, right? But we really don't know if we need to make changes to the bracket or maybe we shouldn't attach it there. Maybe it should be attached actually onto the motor itself. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we think it's the best spot, but we're just gonna let you rip on it for like a month. Okay. And then we'll come back, we'll take a look at it We'll do some analysis and if everything was good then we'll open up pre-orders for okay. the for the intake for the people who are interested in having this and that are going to be sitting patiently waiting with mm -hmm. their their fingers crossed to get it where can they stay updated on instagram when it, instagram instagram, yep. the instagram best right 2j racing on instagram and our 2j facebook page and that Both is 2j will, racing without a space in between it'll always it'll that. have the the dash on in facebook okay it'll have so the 2J dash, in dash racing yep. okay cool but we're easy to find yeah um, um and then we'll always have updates we'll always have if we open it up for pre-orders it'll be everybody could be able to see it on instagram and facebook as well and the other thing is which we didn't cover yet the uh, strut tower brace from is it tb tb performance products yeah. right it has a very large heim joint and a stud that kind of comes off the plate that both the heim joint and the stud are right where the intake resides so we don't have any way to actually use this intake with the with that strut bar okay we've we, well we can post pictures you can kind of lay it over it and it does fit inside the cowl it sits up much higher um but there's no way that we found with their plate to sort of secure the intake with that strut bar. Okay. And we think it would just rattle and, and it's such a massive strut bar. Yeah. Um, we would almost have to create sort of an oval or a flat pipe okay. just to clear that. And it just, it would, it would bring the cost up too much. 
to do that. So I got you. So people that have the strut bar, they can sort of, if they want to create their own bracket, um, or if they want to see pictures of how it fits with the strut bar, we can send that to them. Okay. But for the most part, it was designed for the factory uh, strut bar. Okay, so it's possible. Like it's you can, possible. You can do it, but yes. they, you're gonna have to do it a little bit of DIY. High. Yeah. DIY it, yourself. So well, there you go. So if you want to run the TV Performance Products uh, strut bar with the 2J Racing Cal Induction Intake, it's a great platform to start. If you want to do your own DIY, you can still get this, modify it how you want to. I'm hearing Joe say he's not against that. Not against what, it, sure. So if you want to do that, you can, but like he said, it's mainly for the factory strut bar. But also, if you want your chassis stiffened, I know Danny at TB Performance, he's a great guy. He also makes 15 other chassis bracing products for the Focus ST and the Fiesta platform. No, I don't think it has a, any issue with the Fiesta, does it? Mm -mm, not at all. Okay, yeah. Okay. so yeah. This is the first drive with the 2J Racing cowl induction intake. I don't know, I haven't heard it yet. I have not heard anything. supercharger um, so that this one does not have that but as far as like I mean I'm a ricer and I admit it but like daily driving this is pretty awesome this wouldn't bother me at all because when you lay into it it gets quiet oh, yeah. it's this partial throttle right here you hear it sucking yeah but when you really get into it it uh it, it gets quiet but when it blows off it blow it snaps it blows off loud it's cool it's pretty idea. awesome <laughs> That is so nuts. <laughs> I love it. It's fun though, man. Like just since I've done this to the to the Fiesta, like it just like you get I get people, you know, talking to you at red lights and giving you thumbs up and stuff, you know what I mean? Like it just I'm gonna sound repetitive with what I was saying in my video. You guys saw the one on the Fiesta, but like of what import tuning is all about, right? Like this is why you got this car. This is why you get a car like this, because you want to make spooly cool noises, you know? You want to terrorize the neighborhood and stuff. And that's exactly what this does. The satisfaction that you get the drive from the driving experience. You know, even if you're just driving to work, you are having the most fun <laughs> of everybody that you're with. All the turbo flutter makes me feel like I'm, I'm harming the car until I realize that this is like the noises that it made <laughs> before you can just hear them now. Yeah. Just 
that tuner mentality, man. It's it's everything that makes the import seem cool. All in the cowl of my car. <laughs> well, and for me, you know, being that I was around whatever, like when the real ricers were out, like late yeah. 90s, early 2000s, this is the way stuff sounded. Because we just put big blow off valves and we didn't care. What recirculating was for nerds, you know, like that. That's kind of how we did it. And then as the tuner nation and, and manufacturers all got smarter, we found the right ways, right? Well, it's better to recirculate because, you know, when the air goes back in, you can reuse that right. already paid for air. But, but this isn't a freaking Lamar car. Like, you know what I mean? This is a street car. It's a Focus ST. Like, you're driving this car on the street. So there is a a satisfaction level that you have to add to the whole thing of performance, right? Like the car, if, if you want a car that talks to you, you know, if you want a car like that, dude, like you you can't drive this car without driving it now. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. It is talking like, to you. It is an experience. You're going to notice people are giving you thumbs up at lights and go, yo, yo, that thing's awesome. <laughs> like I've been getting that ever since I put the Cal, the 2J Cal intake on my Fiesta. Like, You'll be messing, you know, just driving around in front of a mall or whatever. You hit the light, people are like, oh, dude, that's freaking cool. What is that? You know, it's just, and that's, that's like part of, I guess it's not part of why everybody does it. But if that, if you're honest with yourself, that's part of why we do this, right? Like, yeah. it's because you want something loud. Everybody you want something wants to talk different. About their self, you want to, you know? yeah, you want something that's attention grabbing that pops off in somebody's window and freaks them out, especially in this day and age when everything's plain vanilla, bleh, plain vanilla. And, and the damn same, you know, like this little angry thing running down the road yelling at everybody, you know, it's just, it's freaking cool. And if that does anything for you, then this is absolutely what you want. Yeah, this is the thing for you. So you do that with mine, I see how loud it is. So with that, thank you so much for watching. Uh, as always, if you have questions, call us or send us a, a message and we'll be happy to get back with you on that. www.2j-racing.com and our phone number is 770-888-0070. There you go, Joe Ippolito, that's my man. Thank you very thank you, much. Yeah, thank you, sir. And I'm so excited.